to hit the road to go to North Carolina, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah. We are going to stop by Jordan Lake again to let him swim. And then he's also going to get to meet his litter mate, Verona. Verona was placed a couple of months ago with Ariel as a hearing dog. So I can't wait to see how he reacts to meeting up with his litter mate. We'll see how that goes. And then we're gonna go down and celebrate my dad's birthday and just hang out in North Carolina. Get some R&R, right pup? Hmm? Right? Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. So, we'll see you on the road. So it started raining as soon as I got into North Carolina and so I decided not to take Vizzini swimming. Instead, came straight down to the parents' house. Here's the parents. I'm here. It's almost my dad's birthday. Yay. How old are you going to be, Dad? 70. 70. Wow. Big 7-0. So we're at, uh, what's this called? Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones. And I'm gonna get some pizza. And I think on Saturday, I am gonna go meet with Ariel and Verona and have a puppy play date. So there's a couple of things that I love about my parents' house, but one of them is that they basically have like a secret garden in the, their backyard and I'll show you a little. Hey Zine, you ready to go to the beach? Huh? You ready to go? You ready to go to the beach? Huh? Yeah? Good boy. We are headed to Jordan Lake. Gonna go meet his little sister. Uh, his sister's name is Verona. And are you excited? You don't know what we're gonna be doing. That's okay. We're gonna have some fun. Whew. I don't know if I've ever been here when it's been this packed. <laughs> hey. Sit. Zini, sit. Good boy. Down. Good. How are you? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Release. Release. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Hi, Verona. How are you? <laughs> She's very, like, overstimulated right now. Yeah. I've never brought her somewhere like this yet. Hi. <laughs> you think 
mean they know? I don't know. They're pretty happy. Yeah. Hey, Zinni, Zinni, don't. Don't. Zinni, don't. Verona. Good boy. Good girl. Good. They both got that same little nose scrunch. Yeah. We're gonna sit. Sit. Good job. Good job, you Hi. Sorry. Yeah, you can say. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh my gosh, you're such a big boy. You're such a big boy. <laughs> Hi. Oh. They look a lot alike to me. They do. Ready? Ready? Now throw it all the way out. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, you can tell. Hold on. Here, take that. Yeah? You want to get him out? Yeah. Do it. Good boy. Good job, Zini. That's a friend she found. Zini's like, ah. Uh, and back to land. Sit. Good, boy. Good girl. We're just gonna, this is not gonna work. I should probably just let her play on it and just try yeah, to survive. Maybe. Alright, you ready? You ready? Come on. <laughs> Alright, come on. Well, she's getting a little rinse. She's getting a little, yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh. Rona. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll pet you instead. Good boy. Rona. Hi. Yeah, just get yourself yeah. all tangled up. I can't pet you. You're working now. Oh. Got it. Oh nope. Well now. I told you. It was She's like, oh. You've been wanting that, and it's not even it's food. Not food. You have to spit it out. See. <laughs> all right, Bobs. You gotta say goodbye. Oh, I know. All right, Nina's gonna make some brownies. Some Duncan Hides. And although we can make them from scratch, and it's pretty simple, I'm gonna make it from them. But we're gonna make it a little fancy too. First, we're gonna put the uh, brownie mix in. All that chocolatey goodness. And then, crack two eggs. cup of oil just mix it 
it in. And the thing that's gonna make it fancy. You got pecans. I do about a cup. And the cool thing that my parents have is this bowl. I think they've had this bowl longer than they've had me. And then we've got this cool little device. I'm just gonna chop it up. Only problem with having a double blade is I get stuck. I think I have actually cut myself when I was younger on this, trying to clear it out. Kind of funny because I uh, was part of this disability scouting group after I got told from the Girl Scouts that they didn't want to make sure that their activities were going to be accessible. And so started trying this, trying out this uh, disability group that was similar to scouting. And they wouldn't let us use plastic knives because they were afraid we were gonna cut, cut ourselves or something. And this is after spending preschool working with, uh, with these candles, like hot wax and also cutting wood and, and all of that. So it was very funny that they wouldn't let us use plastic knives. But I was using this one. I was, you know, a preschooler as well. So, you know, whatever. Some people have weird notions of what disabled people are able to do and not do. But anyway, so just one in small little pieces like that. them all in and then just finish mixing them. Looks pretty good. What we're gonna do is next we're gonna do is spray this Spread it around, make sure we got consistent coverage rather than trying to spray the whole thing. And then just pour it all in. All right, and then just make sure it gets in the corners. And we put it into the oven. All right, so it is preheated for 350. Brownie. 
ice cream, chocolate syrup. May not be the prettiest thing, but mmm, looks delicious. Excellent. All right, guys. Tell me what you think. Yes. Looks good. Delicious. Awesome. Zini and I are headed home. We're gonna go get some cookout before we go, though. Yeah, um, can I get a barbecue sandwich and a chocolate shake? Uh, can I also get a, a bottle of water? Can I get a bottle of water? Yeah. Good, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Uh, can I get some Texas Pete? Thank you. Okay, so if you ever come to North Carolina, I highly suggest that you come to cook out. It's a wonderful, wonderful fast food restaurant. And the reason why it's so wonderful is because of its amazing shakes. It's got over 40 flavors. I'm pretty boring because I usually get chocolate. But the thing is, is that it is so thick that a lot of times it's hard to get through the straw. So, as you can see, it is just super thick. I love it. Let's see here. So if you're trying to suck it through a straw. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot how much I love these shakes. I don't get them very often because I'm slightly lactose intolerant, but oh my gosh. Whenever I come down to North Carolina, I am so tempted to get these shakes just because they're so good. I also got a barbecue sandwich. It's not the best barbecue sandwich you'll ever have, but it's really good when you want a barbecue sandwich real quick. Um, you can see, Pretty messy, pretty typical bun. We've got some slaw. It's already got a little bit of hot sauce. And the funny thing is, Texas Pete is actually made, I believe, in North Carolina. And, uh, <laughs> but it's called Texas Pete, so I don't know. I need a little more heat to my sandwich, and just because it's so messy. I'm already spilling on myself. I'm gonna keep it semi-wrapped. But here we go. Mmm. That is a good sandwich. So it's got a vinegar base. I believe the vinegar base is Eastern style Carolina barbecue. And that's very important because there's Eastern and then there's Western. I believe the Western side is more tomato based and the Eastern side is more vinegar based. 
I, I, I like the uh, Eastern base the best. So this is a good send off as I'm going back to DC. Thank you for watching my vlog and please hit the like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Mm. Cheers.